What up, YouTube? It's your girl, and I am back with the third episode of Wine Wednesdays. And that's one of my dogs. Let's let's do this over. Hey y'all, welcome back. It's your girl Bambi and I am here with the third episode of Wine Wednesdays. And so today, you know, since I want to finish off this subscription box and because it's the third episode, I said, why not? Why not do the two wines from the subscription box and then one that was suggested to me from my bae, okay? So uh, let's just get right on into it. Sit back. Enjoy the show. All right, y'all. So, like I said, we have two wines from the subscription box. This is the first box, the last two. Um, so far, we are four. I'm sorry, zero of four. We didn't find one that we really liked or that was sweet. Okay. Um, and so, I'm hoping these two can help us out in that department. And if not, I'm almost confident that this one will be pretty sweet. I've never tasted it before, but it's the uh, Valenza Valenzano. It's the Valenzano Berry White Cranberry, so I'm kind of excited to open this one up. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to drink me a glass of wine a day, so if these two don't work, this is my backup. So anyway, let's get started. Um, we have Paper Tiger and Rising Tail. We're going to start with the Paper Tiger. So the Paper Tiger... I don't even know how to say this, y'all. The gorgeous Morvidre? Morvidre. I'm going to put it on the screen because I don't know what the hell that means. Or I don't know how to say it. It's deeply complex with notes of fruity pomegranate and bramble berries balanced by a heavy, a heavy influence of vanilla, oak, and aromas of dried rose petals. Mm, it sounds good. Let me show y'all what that looks like. You see this word right there? How y'all say that? This one right here. How you say that? I don't know, but that's what it is. All right. Let's go ahead and open her up. That's pretty easy. Y'all know the drill. Let's pour something in here. I'm only trying a little because because y'all know how this go. All right, so I'm gonna smell it. It smells like it's gonna be really strong. How many percent alcohol is this? It's 13.7 percent alcohol. So let's taste her. You know what? Oh, that burned. This one is not awful. Let me see. It's really, it's strong, but it's not really bitter. And it's funny because I can taste berries or something. I feel like, hold on. It's all right. Again, it's another one of those that I feel like um, if you already drinking, you'd be able to drink it. But it's not, it's not a preferred glass. So I'm going to pass on this one and say we zero five at this point on to the next all right rise and tail we can get right to it oh wait let's see what kind of wine is this it's a pinot noir so pinots aren't bad is uh is an all red fruit on a nose and palate with flavors of raspberry and strawberry most prominent um, characteristically silky tannins and milder acidity 
raspberry, strawberry, cherry, and baking spices. 13% alcohol. <clears throat> Let's try. It's a red one. Dangerously red, I suppose. Okay. I don't need much. I learned my lesson. I don't like how this one smells. This kind of got a funky smell to it. Yeah. I know I'm not going to like this one. It's a not even sweet. Kind of like a sweet, funky smell. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going to just go ahead and get it over with. Let's go. I don't taste anything. Let me see. stuff like I can't do wines that are not that don't taste good like I'm a, a cocktail girl like put a little alcohol in it you know put some alcohol in it but it's gotta have some kind of sweet kind of good fruity like ooh, like you know beaches and blue waters and I don't know Warm air, sand, something fruity, tropical. Play me the drums with the whatever. This is not hitting it. And this entire box, zero. Not one of them that I liked or preferred. Unfortunately, I got my second box. I'm canceling that subscription today. But I will review or give you my thoughts on those six bottles of wine from that second box but this this box total loser i'm gonna pour this out and then move on over to this give me a second all right y'all last wine this is a delicate blend of early harvest cranberries create a crisp sweet and citrusy wine we about to see I'm scared, y'all. <clears throat> Not really. This should be okay. I'm hoping. <clears throat> Here we go. Did you see I poured a little extra in there? Like, I got some confidence in this wine here. Like, um... <laughs> It better be good. <clears throat> All right, so. <clears throat> it ain't smelling like it's something that I want to drink. <clears throat> Let's just get this over with, please. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> and this right here, girl. Now I could do this. Okay, berry white cranberry. We got a winner. 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 Cause it tastes good. And I'm gonna enjoy this bottle. Not all tonight, but at some point. So, we are, once again, zero for six from the subscription and one for Bay, cause he's the one that recommended it. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for coming back and watching Wine Wednesdays. Follow me on Instagram comment subscribe to my youtube channel um i got some more stuff coming for you 
look out for next Wednesday. I got some new treats that we're going to try. And, um, yeah, that's it for now. So I'm going to enjoy my wine, and I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. That's good.